Slide 1. Welcome to Health Management Information Systems, Computerized Provider Order Entry. This is Lecture B. The component, Health Management Information Systems, is a theory component that provides an introduction to healthcare applications and the systems that use them, health information technology standards, health-related data structures, and enterprise architecture in healthcare organizations. Lecture B will describe the major value to adopting CPOE applications, identify the common barriers to adoption, and summarize the potential impact CPOE has on patient care safety, quality and efficiency, and patient outcomes. Slide 2. The objectives for this unit, Computerized Provider Order Entry, are to Describe the purpose, attributes, and functions of CPOE. Explain ways in which CPOE is currently being used in healthcare. Slide 3. Additional objectives for this unit, Computerized Provider Order Entry, are to Discuss the major value to CPOE adoption. Identify common barriers to CPOE adoption and identify how CPOE can affect patient care safety, quality, and efficiency, as well as patient outcomes. Slide 4. CPOE is a valuable tool and has many advantages when compared with paper-based systems. As cited in Role of Computerized Physician Order Entry Systems in Facilitating Medication Errors by Koppel et al., 2005, the following advantages were identified. Handwriting identification problems no longer exist. The order reaches the pharmacy quicker. Errors associated with similar drug names are not as likely to occur. Easier to interface with electronic health records and decision support systems. Slide 5. Four more advantages as several studies cited in Role of Computerized Physician Order Entry Systems in Facilitating Medication Errors by Koppel et al., 2005, described are Errors caused by use of apothecary measures not as likely to occur. Easy connection to drug-to-drug -drug interaction warnings. Probability of recognizing the prescribing physician. Connection to adverse drug event reporting systems made possible. Slide 6. Additional advantages of CPOE when compared with paper-based systems that were cited in various studies noted by Koppel et al. 2005 are Immediate data analysis made possible. Economic savings may occur. Via online prompts, join CPOE with algorithms to underscore cost-effective medications. Decrease under-prescribing and over-prescribing. Lessen incorrect drug choices. Slide 7. With all these advantages, the value of CPOE is apparent. According to a HIMSS CPOE fact sheet, CPOE value extends to the organization beyond having an electronic record rather than a paper one in the following ways. Enhanced patient safety. Medication errors are reported to be the largest cause of adverse hospital events. CPOE eliminates transcription error and clinical alerts can warn of allergies and drug-drug interaction. CPOE can reduce costs. Studies have found that adverse drug events can increase hospital stays significantly. Additional cost savings can be realized with clinical decision support that directs practitioners to lower doses or alternate medications. CPOE is a powerful tool in guiding practitioners in reducing unnecessary variation in care by encouraging best practices. HIMSS, 2003, paragraph 5. One of the NQF-endorsed safe practices, 2010, that has been demonstrated to be effective in reducing the occurrence of adverse health care events and improving health care safety is CPOE. Adverse drug events can increase hospital stays significantly, so any technology such as CPOE, which can reduce ADEs, can also reduce costs. Slide 8. Even with the recognition that CPOE is valuable, barriers to adoption and implementation do exist. They include 
the belief that physicians will not use computerized ordering. Physicians who are used to the paper method may resist switching to the computerized system and adapting to it, and the time to switch from a paper to an electronic system will take time that providers do not want to allow for. CPOE is complex. It requires the cooperation of many individuals, and implementation involves representatives from many areas of operations. For example, CPOE requires a number of interfaces with other existing systems, such as the electronic health record. Orders and order sets need to be configured, even if the healthcare organization starts the order set development process with a standard baseline collection format provided by a vendor, it is a time-consuming process requiring the participation of numerous and disparate clinical departments. Dixon and Zafer, 2009. CPOE impacts workflow and process of all caregivers and ancillary personnel. It is a disruptive technology that fundamentally changes the processes used to place, review, authorize, and carry out orders. Dixon and Zafer, 2009, page 7. CPOE involves risk. Poorly designed user interfaces and unacceptable processing speeds can increase the odds of errors and therefore increase patient safety risks. A delay in order entry delays treatment and could result in mistakes. CPOE is costly to implement and maintain. The New England Healthcare Institute, 2008, estimated acquisition cost for a hospital CPOE system to be about $2.1 million and annual operating expenses of about $450,000 a year. Costs may differ depending on hospital size and level of existing IT infrastructure. An example of a cost is the continuous, frequent training and retraining needed as users adapt to CPOE. Another example is vendor support costs, including day-to-day -day costs of having staff to support the users. Organizational staff is also needed to provide testing for upgrades and enhancements. Slide 9. In addition to the barriers previously identified, there is the issue of e iatrogenesis. Although CPOE systems are designed to decrease errors, they can be a source of errors if not designed correctly. Thus, CPOE can have a potential negative effect on patient care safety, quality, and efficiency, as well as patient outcomes. e iatrogenesis is patient harm caused at least in part by the application of health information technology. Weiner, Kafuri, Chan, and Fowles, 2007, page 387. Actual or potential e iatrogenic events related to CPOE errors have been discussed in published research. The results of one such study are found in the article Role of Computerized Physician Order Entry Systems in Facilitating Medication Errors. A total of 22 situations were identified where CPOE increased the probability of medication errors. Koppel et al., 2005. These are summarized on the next slide. Slide 10. The 22 situations where CPOE increased the probability of medication errors were categorized into the following two groups. 1. Information errors generated by fragmentation of data and failure to integrate the hospital's several computer and information systems. And 2. Human-machine interface flaws reflecting machine rules that do not correspond to work organization or usual behaviors. Koppel et al., 2005, page 1199. Examples of information errors are medication discontinuation failures, immediate order and give as needed medication discontinuation faults, antibiotic renewal failure, conflicting or duplicative medications. Koppel et al., 2005. Slide 11. Examples of human-machine interface flaws are wrong medication selection, loss of data, time, and focus when CPOE is non-functional, sending medications to wrong rooms when the computer system has shut down, late in-day orders lost for 24 hours, 
role of charting difficulties in inaccurate and delayed medication administration, inflexible ordering screens, incorrect medications, Koppel et al. 2005. Slide 12. While CPOE has been a major initiative of U.S. hospitals for over a decade, the passage of the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health High Tech Act, and specifically Section 3001B, calls for the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, ONC, to develop a nationwide health information technology infrastructure that allows for the electronic use and exchange of information and that ensures that each patient's health information is secure and protected in accordance with applicable improvements in health care quality, reduces medical errors, reduces health disparities, and advances the delivery of patient-centered medical care, among other goals. In support of the High Tech Act to help meet the statutory requirements in the Medicare and Medicaid programs of the Electronic Health Record Incentive Program Final Rule, the Meaningful Use core set of measures was expanded to include the use of CPOE in the fundamental elements with the goal to improve patient care. Slide 13. CPOE is considered to be a foundational element to many of the other objectives of meaningful use, including the exchange of information and clinical decision support. The Electronic Health Record Incentive Program Final Rule states for Stage 1, CPOE is included in the core set of measures. The Meaningful Use Core Measure for Eligible Professionals, Eligible Hospitals, and Critical Access Hospitals is Use CPOE for medication orders directly entered by any licensed healthcare professional who can enter orders into the medical record per state, local, and professional guidelines. CMS 2010, page 44,370. Only medication orders are included. More than 30% of all unique patients with at least one medication in their medication list seen by the eligible professional or admitted to the eligible hospitals or critical care hospitals inpatient or emergency department during the EHR reporting period have at least one medication order entered using CPOE. The threshold for Stage 2 is 60%. In addition, for Stage 1, the transmission of the order is not included in the objective or the associated measure. The final rule also clarified which healthcare professional can enter orders using CPOE as any licensed healthcare professional per state, local, and professional guidelines. CMS 2010. Slide 14. CPOE can also have a potential positive effect on patient care safety, quality, and efficiency, as well as patient outcomes. Citing several studies, Dixon and Zafer noted, when implemented together, CPOE systems and CDS can improve medication safety and quality of care and reduce costs of care. They can also improve compliance with provider guidelines as well as the efficiency of hospital workflow. Dixon and Zafer, 2009, page 2. However, as mentioned previously, use of CPOE should not be executed by itself as limited benefit may result from implementing an order entry system without coupling clinical decision support with it during the order entry process. Dixon and Zafer, 2009. Slide 15. CPOE can also have a positive impact on efficiency. Any reduction in the time it takes to render patient care can potentially reduce the amount of time in the hospital. CPOE is a powerful tool in guiding practitioners in reducing unnecessary variation in care by encouraging evidence-based practices. However, in order to optimize impact on efficiency, CPOE should be an integrated component of the clinical information system, which in turn is part of a larger integrated information technology infrastructure. Positive and negative effects of CPOE on patient care safety, quality, and efficiency, as well as patient outcomes, have been documented in the literature. However, both patient safety and healthcare cost pressures, along with the federal incentives tied to meaningful use, 
present a clear imperative to proceed with the implementation of CPOE. Slide 16. As pointed out by the California Healthcare Foundation, CPOE is not a technology implementation, but a redesign of a complex clinical process, which integrates technology at key points to optimize ordering decisions. CPOE is an organizational change initiative, not an IT project. California Healthcare Foundation, 2000, page 2. Slide 17. This concludes computerized provider order entry. Lecture A defined computerized provider order entry and described the purpose, attributes, and functions of CPOE. It also explained ways in which CPOE is currently being used in healthcare. Lecture B described the major value to adopting CPOE applications, identified the common barriers to adoption, and summarized the potential impact CPOE has on patient care safety, quality and efficiency, and patient outcomes.